our American way of life. Isn't it grand? Peace, freedom, and bacon and eggs. Seems perfect. But what if it's not? Friends, your future may not be as secure as you think. Where will you be when the atomic bombs fall? You can secure your family's future by reserving a spot in a state-of-the-art underground vault from vault -Tec. That's right, Bob. Act now, and your family can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. And Doris, the vault will have all the amenities of your modern-day home. And it's attractive. And Sally, in the vault, you might meet that special someone just as you would on the surface. And in a few short years, you and your fellow vault dwellers will repopulate our great country. And Billy, you'll have lots of swell kids to play with. Reserve your family spot in a state-of-the-art underground vault today. Sign up now and prepare for the future. Hey guys, what's up? It's Need Money here from Epic PGC. And today I'll be doing um, sort of a review, but more of a look back into the game Fallout 3 and what made it so popular, really. And I'll also be doing um, what's to come for the next installation in the Fallout series, Fallout New Vegas. So let's start off with Fallout 3 first. We'll cover the basics um, and really get into it. First we'll do the gameplay. Uh, Fallout 3 is an RPG role-playing game that incorporates uh, components from first-person shooter games and horror games. Uh, from the beginning of the game, you have the ability to customize uh, your character, as it were. You get to customize your skill levels, uh, your name, how you look. Uh, your perks, all that, all that good stuff. Um, and also in the beginning of the game, uh, you get something called a pit boy, which keeps track of uh, your skills and perks and your items, and also your health. Uh, the pit boy is just a little handy device that uh, that keeps track of all that stuff. So. Um, basically, the game, Fallout 3, uh, you get to play out the game. You are the controller of the story. It's not like one of those games where they set a story for you and then you have to follow it. No, Fallout 3 is a very versatile game, very flexible game, as it were. Uh, what you say and what you do affects your skills, your reputation, and this plays out into the game and affects your story. So you can play as a good guy, a bad guy. Uh, Fallout 3 is a game that's, that's very unique because of that. Ta talking about uh, versatility um, and things of that nature. There's also a mass variety <laughs> of quests and weapons you can use in the game. Uh, so there are a whole bunch of quests, um, and you just complete them, get paid, you get rewards, and some quests are really easy, like the very first quest you get, I think it's called Baby Steps. And uh, some really hard ones. Uh, I can't think of one right now. But yeah. Um, so, and there are a whole bunch of weapons that that are in the game. If you are if you are like a weapons fanatic, this game is like really. This game would be great for you. Anyways, um, so talking about the game itself. Uh, you're able to do anything in the game. Just about, like, uh, you can just about shoot, kill, maim anything. Uh, you are able to go anywhere you wish at any time, even if you're on a quest. Uh, you can have companions following you, like a dog named 
dog meat, which is awesome. And yeah, uh, what you do in the game affects your story, how you play out. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, the battle, the the fighting system, or so you can call it. Um, when you encounter enemies, uh, of course you are gonna have to fight them uh, because they'll shoot you or they'll try and attack you first. Uh, the guns in this game, um, from what I've noticed, at a distance they're not very accurate and you don't have the ability to aim down your sight. Uh, you just sort of zoom in a bit and you start shooting them. Uh, so it's very hard to uh, kill enemies this way. But there is something in Fallout 3 called the VHES system, or the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System. Uh, basically what it is, is you get to lock onto your enemies, and it'll freeze time. It'll give you the percentage of hit for each body part of your enemy. You select the body parts, and you just fire away. And then it gives you this cool animation, and when you land a hit, it just feels so good. Uh, yeah. And that's basically how the battle goes down in Fallout 3. Um, so, yeah. Uh, talking more about the gameplay, uh, generally, when you walk in the game, I find it a little bit, you're walking a little slower. Like, it says you're running, but you're not, it doesn't feel like you're running. It feels more like you're walking and you can't run. Um, and also when you become overcomered, or I think that's what it's called, but when you become, when you have too many items in your bag or you're holding, you tend to walk really, really slow, which is not good, and it forces you to drop items you've picked up or sell them. But it, the game, it really gets easy to Get, it really is easy to get used to once you uh, get past that and just begin playing. It's pretty fun. So I'll give the gameplay a very good 5 out of